here that Mr. Camozzi did a pretty good job because people are flying through this. So uh, I'll walk you through the first one just in case. But uh, to go from the English to the math, we do the same set of steps. I would do them, you know, you can do them one sentence at a time. There's no shame in not just putting the right answer down immediately. Um, this math, the operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication. If you make a mistake, chances are it's a careless one. So if you rush these questions, you're more likely to do that. So why not go like this instead? Reflect it in the x and y. That means it's going to be y equals negative f of negative x. Okay. Then we can take a look. What's the next piece of the puzzle? Expanded vertically by a factor of 2, compressed horizontally by 1 third. So that means I could write this in. And the last piece of the puzzle says translated 2 to the left and 4 units down. So negative 2, 4 to the left will be x plus 4. And, sorry, 2 to the left. And 4 units down. So you should have a, uh, a function that looks like this for your final answer. And again, there's nothing wrong with taking the extra steps. Don't think you'll need to rush through these questions when it comes to tests and quizzes. So, can I just see, has everybody had enough time to work on the second one? Or do you need, uh, if you need more time, can I see by show of hands? Okay, no problem. Let's take a look, uh, go from English to math there in the second example. Okay, so if I just wanted to work, uh, if I just wanted to work one step at a time, and I just maybe do this part of it here, um, it says reflected in the y-axis, then what could I write down for my first step? Tell us what you got there, Stephen. F of negative x? Yeah, okay. So there's a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, and then the next part of it says vertically by 5 and horizontally by 2. Okay, so can somebody incorporate those into this now? How about the west side? West side? I believe so, because I think the ocean's that way. I'm pretty sure if I drove that way, uh, I'd hit the ocean. Hold on. Yeah. That way's to Langley in the valley. Yeah. Anthony, you won't be able to see the ocean from there. West side is north. North shore, right? So it's more that way than that. No, that would be never wheat, soggy eat. Right? <laughs> never, never eat, so Anyways. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, so anybody here on the left side of the classroom, your right side of the classroom? Sure, go for it, Danny. Um, so I have negative negative x. Good. Okay. And let's see here. Natasha, can you help me out with the rest of it? Sorry, minus six. Bracket, bracket, and perfect. Okay, thank you. So now that we can take the uh, English, turn it into to math, and math turn it into English, uh, let's start mapping some points. If we can do this, we can start doing graphs. So, for example, when I do this, you're going to notice that I like to make little neat tables. Um, it helps keep me organized. So what I'll do usually is go like this in the margin. And that'll help me remember what order to do it, and so I can see what's there. So it says x-axis reflection. So if I do an x-axis reflection, what will happen to negative 12, negative 5? So uh, let's, you know what, if you don't, this is the thing I always do. If I forget how an x-axis reflection works, this would be a point going along the x-axis. Right? It jumps across the x-axis. So what coordinate is affected? Yeah, the y-coordinate's affected. It's supposed to be the same horizontal position, but the vertical has changed. 
So here I'm going to change the vertical position. Okay. Now, are there any, uh, let's see, expand it vertically by a factor of 2. Okay, so if I expand it vertically by a factor of 2, what will I get? Sorry? 2 times the y coordinate, so that would be 12, 10 for us. Um, then it says compression 1 sixth uh, horizontally. So that means the x coordinate is going to become 2. And to do the translations, 3 left and 5 up, that point is now going to be 3 left, 5 up. 